Jerry Carley, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how or why, but I do dumb and stupid. It just follows me everywhere. The other day I went to McDonald's, right? I drive into the parking lot and I see four police cars, cops, all over the place. And I see a manager standing there. So I walked up to her and I said, uh, what happened? Did somebody complain about the food? <laughs> and it was the juiciest fuck you I've ever heard. I was like, fuck you. <laughs> That's the dumb part. <laughs> the stupid part was when I went there the next day and I asked her out. <laughs> so I went over there and I said, uh, you know when uh, yesterday when you said fuck you, did you uh, mean that literally? I was like, say what? Look here, motherfucker. How dare you think you got enough going on to come on this ass? I must have really pissed her off because she was white. <laughs> and so, you know, you take these stories, right, and you start writing comedy. But you have to internalize because that's where you find all the funny. But when you internalize, you get these flashbacks and it goes back and, and you start thinking college. Uh, uh, a psychology, a uh, Freud. No, I did not have sexual thoughts about my mother. No, it was my aunt. <laughs> and so you, you start getting depressed, and then all of a sudden you hear Jerry Corley's voice says, Dude, you can so do this. <laughs> And so you just kind of just spring back up and you rehearse and you rehearse and you rehearse because the show is coming up. And then the next thing you know, it's showtime and you're standing behind the mic and you tell your first joke. And it's kind of like, what's happening now? <laughs> and then you start thinking, you say, what happened? I mean, I swear when I, it worked beautifully when I rehearsed it at home. I mean, the cat loved it. And you know who else loved it? My blow-up doll. <laughs> See, my bastard friends got me the blow-up doll for my 40th birthday. Uh, I'm not trying to be mean. It's just that all three of them were raised by single mothers. <laughs> I don't label people, but you know what the assholes did? See... I don't label them. It's it just that what they did was it felt kind of like a kick in the butt. So I don't really label them. I'm just merely pointing out the location of the impact. <laughs> See, what they did, they took a permanent marker and they took the doll and wrote my mother's name on her. <laughs> so I just use her as an audience member. <laughs> But I rehearse. And she also comes in handy for uh, carpool lanes. Now you're probably thinking, no, the cops are going to be able to tell. No, because see, here's what I do. Sometimes, you know, driving down the freeway and you see something so stupid, you can't believe it. And I see it and it's like... <laughs> See, so we look like twins. <laughs> well, that's me. Thank you very much.